welcome to Review Central. This is Asset Reviewer number 1, featuring questions and problems for the Asset Numerical Ability Subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take the Ateneo College Entrance Exam. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous assets. Now let's begin. Numerical Ability Problem Number 1 Decimals, Percentages, and Fractions What percent of 75 is 15? A. 20% B. 25% C. 33.3% D. 12.5% The correct answer is A. 20% to find out what percent of 75 is 15, we simply divide 15 by 75 to get 0.2, a decimal number. To convert a decimal number into percent, we simply multiply it by 100. Therefore, 15 is 20% of 75. Numerical Ability Problem Number 2 Greatest Common Factor the greatest common factor of 22, 15, and 7 is blank A, 1 B, 5 C, 7 D, 11 The greatest common factor, or GCF, is the greatest factor that divides both, or all, of the given numbers. To find the GCF, first, List the prime factors of each number. The prime factors of 22 are 2 and 11. The prime factors of 15 are 3 and 5. The prime factor of 7 is 7. Next, find common factors between or among the given numbers. In this particular problem, there is no common factor among 22, 15, and 7. Had there been common factors, we would have multiplied them to find the GCF. In the absence of any common factor, the GCF is 1. Therefore, the correct answer is A, 1. Numerical Ability Problem Number 3 Probability The probability of getting a 2 after rolling a fair die is blank A, 1 over 12 B, 1 A C, 1 6 D, 1 half The correct answer is C. 1 6. A die has six faces, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The probability of rolling a fair die and getting a 2 is, therefore, 1 6. Numerical ability problem number 4. Least common multiple. What is the least common multiple of 5, 2, and 7? A. 2 B. 14 C. 35 D. 70 The correct answer is D. 70 LCM stands for Least Common Multiple. There are different ways and techniques in finding the least common multiple of two or more numbers. We'll show you two of these techniques in solving this given problem. For the first technique, first, list down the multiples of each given number. We've listed down for you the multiples of 7, 5, and 2 above as shown. The first multiple that appear for all of the numbers is the least common multiple up until the product of the given numbers, in this case, 7 times 5 times 2, or 70. From the list, the LCM is 70. This first technique can get very long, especially if you are dealing with more than two numbers. Let's try another technique. Technique number two. First, list the prime factors of each number. Then multiply each factor the greatest number of times it occurs in any of the given numbers. If the same factor occurs more than once in all the given numbers, you multiply the factor the greatest number of times it occurs. In the given problem, there is only one prime factor each for five, 2, and 7, respectively, 
which happen to be also 5, 2, and 7. Therefore, the least common multiple is equal to, 5 times 2 times 7, which is 70. Unfortunately, for this particular problem we are not able to fully demonstrate how the rules work for each technique. You will get to fully appreciate and understand the techniques as you encounter similar problems in our other numerical ability reviewers. Numerical Ability Problem Number 5 Business Math What is the total amount after adding 8% interest for 3 months to 6,000 pesos? A. 6,480 pesos B. 6,040 pesos C. 6,240 pesos D. 6,120 pesos The correct answer is D. 6,120 pesos. 8% of 6,000 is 480. When given problems involving interest calculation, take note that unless specified otherwise, interest is generally assumed to be per annum. Interest earned for 3 months should therefore be 480 pesos divided by 12 months, then multiplied by 3 months. We'll arrive at 120 pesos as the interest earned for 3 months. Finally, we add the interest earned, 120 pesos, to the principal amount, 6000 pesos, to get the total amount after adding interest. We'll arrive at 6120 pesos as the correct answer. Numerical Ability Problem Number 6, Integers Which of the following is a product of 13 and an integer? A. 1,326 B. 1,350 C. 1,590 D. 1,909 The correct answer is A. 1,326 Recall that an integer is a whole number, that is, not a decimal or fractional number, that can be positive, negative, or zero. To find the correct answer, we need to divide each of the given answer choices by 13. 1326 is the only choice, which, when divided by 13 results to an integer. Numerical Ability Problem Number 7, Algebra If A, minus 2B, equals 17, and 2A, minus B, equals 16, then what is A minus B? A, 1 B, 11 C, 29 D, negative 29 The correct answer is B, 11 To solve this problem, First let's express the equation a minus 2b equals 17 in terms of a. We'll arrive at the equation a equals 17 plus 2b. Let's call this equation number 1 prime. Now let's substitute the value of a from equation 1 prime into the second equation. We'll arrive at the value of b to be negative 6. Next, let's substitute the computed value of b into equation 1 prime. This will give us the computed value of A to be 5. Lastly, with the values of A and B already known, we can now solve for A minus B. The correct answer is 11. Numerical Ability Problem Number 8 Worded Problem The sum of three consecutive integers is 123. What are the integers? A, 39, 40, and 41. B, 40, 41, and 42. C, 41, 42, and 43. D, 42, 43, and 44. The correct answer is B. The integers are 40, 41, and 42. To solve the problem, let X be the first, and the smallest, of the three consecutive integers we are looking for. Therefore, the second integer should be x plus 1, and the third integer should be x plus 2. 
we know that the sum of the three consecutive integers is 123. Therefore, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 123. Now let's solve for x. We should arrive at 40 as the answer. This is our first, and smallest, of the three consecutive integers we are looking for. To solve for the second and third integers, let's substitute the value of x that we computed to x plus 1, and x plus 2, respectively. Therefore, the three consecutive integers are 40, 41, and 42. Numerical ability problem number 9, geometry. Find the area of the shaded part in the figure shown. A. 41 square feet. B. 40 square feet. C. 80 square feet. D. 20 square feet. The correct answer is D. 20 square feet. To solve this problem, we must take note that there are actually two right triangles in the figure shown. Do you see them? But first, Let's assign the variable x to be the length of the segment at the base of the triangle with an unspecified measurement. Now back to the two right triangles that we just mentioned. The first and bigger right triangle has the following side measurements. Hypotenuse of 16 feet. Height of 8 feet. Base of 5 plus x feet. We mark the triangle with a semi-transparent blue shade. Did you see it? The second, and smaller. Right triangle has the following side measurements. Hypotenuse of 12 feet. Height of 8 feet. Base of X feet. We mark the triangle with a semi-transparent blue shade. Do you see it? The formula for the area of any triangle is 1 half of the base times the height. For the bigger right triangle, the area is 1 half, times 5 plus X, times 8. For the smaller right triangle, the area is 1 half, times x, times 8. If you inspect the given figure carefully, you will determine that the area of the shaded part of the figure is actually the area of the bigger right triangle, minus the area of the smaller right triangle. Did you see that? Therefore, the area of the shaded portion is equal to 20 feet, as derived in the computation shown above. Numerical ability question number 10. Permutations. In how many ways can five girls be seated in a row of five seats? A. 25. B. 75. C. 120. D. 125. The correct answer is C. 120. Without any specified restriction, the solution to seat 5 girls in a row of 5 seats would be n factorial, where n equals 5. Therefore, 5 factorial equals, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, equals 120. You have just completed Asset Reviewer number 1, which featured questions for the Asset Numerical Ability subtest. If you wish to watch more Asset Reviewers for the Asset Numerical Ability subtest, check out our Asset Numerical Ability playlist. Check out also our other Asset playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central, and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming asset and we look forward to your exciting days ahead as a true blue Adenian.